Today is Monday, May 25th, 2020. And today, this guy is going to help us make some delicious snacks. Maybe? No, I think he's just along for the ride. Here's my pepper grinder. This is a automatic gravity-fed pepper grinder. Just works like this. And it turns off automatically. And you don't need it anymore. It's got a little uh, ceramic burr grinder in there. Kind of tiny. And you just adjust the device to get the desired pepper size out of it. So, works great. Uh, it's powered by six AAA batteries. And I've got the Eneloop uh, nickel metal hydride batteries in there. Uh, I have yet to have to recharge them. I, I think I've had this about uh, six months, so last them pretty well. Um, I've had this one for a while, and I was curious uh, if I could take advantage of this design of its burr grindingness uh, and possibly do something else with it. But at the same time, I'm also just curious what's inside. And so, why don't we just buy a couple more and take them apart? All right, so there we go. There is the uh, the business end of the unit, um, which has a burr grinder. So we're just gonna we're gonna zoom in here and start digging in. So it's got the same AAA batteries. This I'm just gonna spin off. Okay, so it's got a knurled brass insert. The requisite the square drive. Interesting. Little plastic bushing. And then inside here we've got the other side of it. A little springy spring bit right there. Uh, oh, a square die cut uh, washer and then the square drive itself with a little slip ring on there. So now I'm going to get in there with a teeny tiny screwdriver. I need an even teenier, tinier screwdriver. It's unfortunate they stopped selling this particular model at Home Depot, and they switched over to a different brand that doesn't have, or a different casing that doesn't have this little click-in thing. It's a lower quality. This is a great $7 screwdriver. All right. Oh, it's a little too small. Gotta give it a good amount of pressure. Take those guys out. Here's the light diffuser. Oh, and here's the business end of the Illuminati circuit. Very simple. Three LEDs in parallel. All right, maybe we could change the color. And then here's the other side of the burr grinder. All right, so there we are. Uh, the top side mostly apart. It looks like there are some deep recessed screws. I think I'm going to go up just a slight bit on the size to a number zero. Get in there. Uh, that seems to have a better fit. And this should separate the top and bottom sections. At least I'm hopeful of such. <laughs> just Barely fits my screwdriver in there. All right. In this section right here. So this must be a fan. Oh, those are purely aesthetic. There is nothing fanning about that. That is purely a dent. Okay, so the square drive mates to a... Um, what do you call that? Uh, two, 
90 degree offset, 90, whatever degree, 45, one rotation of a square, hex, I don't know, I need to go back to school apparently. Um, so that's really not that complicated, um, but let's go ahead and get inside a little bit further to uh, see what's inside that sets off the gravity bits. Or if there's a mass gravity. Oh, look, it's a smiley face. <laughs> um, you know, like a, a boson detector inside or, you know, like a little microcontroller with a uh, accelerometer or uh, something. It's probably something like a little ball relay. There we go. There's the Motorb. Oh, and there's the brain box. Yes. It's a simple little ball relay. Or if it's in the right spot, it passes the continuity. If not, it does not. That is oddly, it's actually switched by a, a doodly hoodly, what's it? Whatchamacallit thing of Bob? Transistorb. Um, what else has got? It's got going on here. It's got a battery plus, battery minus, L, whatever L means, L minus, and not clearly labeled on the other side. I wonder what's supposed to go on this trace here, tied to battery plus, an empty pad. Huh. Well, you don't get much simpler than that. All right, well. That is um, that is the inside of your fancy dancy pepper mill, and um, if it suddenly stops peppering, then you uh, you could certainly try to tighten this up. But um, over time, I imagine this will slowly wear down. Uh, so uh, you may just need to buy a whole new one, considering they were about fifteen bucks a piece. It's not really uh, not really a big deal. All right. I like to call this the hamburger infill. Three D printing. A while back, I bought a manual Burr coffee grinder. The way that this thing works is that it has a small ceramic Burr grinder right here. You fill it with coffee. You put the handle on. And go to town. Problem is, this takes forever. Someone else already did invent an electric coffee grinder, but what fun is that? Enter the land of 3D printing and inexpensive gravity pepper grinders. With one simple trick, you can undercut all of the cuisine arts and coffee grinders of the world. Now you don't have to grind this by hand. It still takes forever though. I won't grind the whole thing, but suffice it to say, you get fresh ground coffee. Here we have our standard coffee setup. We have number one, the old faithful coffee grind air, which incinerates your coffee as it slices it in 37 different ways. 
Number two is the hand ground coffee experiments. Oh, I'm bad at the left hand. All right, hold that in. I put too much in the bag. Back you go. And all over. And so you can uh, put your handy dandy angle dangle on there and then go to town for about, oh, I don't know, five minutes. It takes forever and it's not, uh, it's, it's just not convenient. So the reason that you would use this is that uh, uh, it's inexpensive, but it has a burr grinder and you can adjust the granularity of your coffee grounds. And being that it is early morning on a Saturday, I have not yet had my coffee, and so I'm not as articulate as normal. All right, so this is just going to take way too long, so I'm just going to skip that. And I uh, have created a device to help us with the, the uh, annoying hand grinding by automating the grinding process. But we find... It still takes five minutes. I would have to stand here like this, and it would just take forever to end up with our appropriately ground coffee, and also it makes it easy to accidentally mess up. So, you know, it, it grinds the coffee the exact same way. But then there's a third option, which is actually the source of this. So this is a 3D printed adapter, just like that one. This is where that design came from that matched this. Uh, and someone on the internet printed this up. Let's just t give this a try because I'm very curious. I might hurt myself. All right, well, that was very quick. Nothing came out. Okay, there's something wrong. Either I've just been spinning this and it's been rotating. Oh, you know, when you spin it the wrong direction, nothing comes out. There, that sounds different. I think there's a the right speed. Slower, you can feel it. Faster, not so much. So, that nah, looks like coffee. Mmm, that drill smell. So I'm gonna go really fast for the rest of it. It still takes a long time. Oh, it just finished. You can tell because the sound's changed. So let's look at the coffee in there. Yeah, I mean, it looks like ground coffee. It's actually, it might be a little, a little coarser. Well, that's interesting. Uh, static has built up. And the uh, coffee chaff is sticking to this metal, which is interesting because this is, uh, I thought it was stainless steel. So there's a charge built up. All right, well, that is how um, I will not be grinding my coffee in the morning. Um, start some water. Yeah, and now we've spent almost five minutes just dicking around when we could have simply done it in about 45 seconds, the old, the old fashioned way. So I've introduced extra time into your morning coffee process, but it was all about the experiment. And, uh, you know, how, how much fun is it to use power tools in the kitchen? Wait a second. What's to stop me from just putting coffee beans in my pepper grinder? Well, it would work if you had all day. 
I think the secret is the fact that the pepper grinder has a much smaller orifice than the requisite coffee grinder. And so that's the difference. It's not really effective to sit here. Maybe if you want a nice pepper rub on your steak, perhaps, and you want a nice coffee steak. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my project. Big thanks to, uh, big thanks to Sam at Print Fratura for designing the original part that I used in this project. Well, this guy says, subscribe. Subscribe.